شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان فمن شهد منكم الشهر فليصل Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I pray that all of you are well and uh, you, all of you are looking forward to the month of Ramadan. My prayer for you is may this Ramadan be the most beautiful Ramadan for you. May you feel spiritually uplifted. May you feel Allah's mercy. May you feel connected. And may you also decide, as it were, to take the right direction, not to make the mistakes of the past. As I speak to you, I'm also acutely aware that many of you are going through many personal problems, either a spouse that is on drugs, your children are disobedient, there are economic challenges, and there are many people are going through these challenges. And then we also have the global phenomena about what is happening to the Ummah, and the Ummah is bleeding in Gaza, Kashmir, and other parts of the world. Now we, as people of faith, must never give up. Nothing happens except for the will of Allah. Tomorrow, your life could change. Nothing is permanent. Therefore, we are told, with every heartache, there is ease. Allah will send to you good people, that will connect with you, will support you, and help you to take the turn. So you have not reached the end in the road, but the bend in the road. So a few things I want to recommend. Firstly, reconnect yourself to Allah, reconnect to the Quran, have good friends, lift up your hands and pray to Allah, confront yourself and say what you need to do differently. And remember, it is imperative that you are positive. It is imperative that you believe that tomorrow, inshallah, will be a better day. So my dua for each one of you is, may you find peace of mind and never assume that the grass is greener on the other side. Never assume that the other person is leading a far happier life than what you have. So if you have a sense of gratitude, a sense of abundance, Aha, you'll see your life would be different. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Yeah, the question uh, how to teach children respect is a very, very important respect for others. And when you look at our society and it's a global phenomena, lots of people say the children of today do not know how to show respect and we tend to be very, very hard with them. But Respect begets respect. Children need to grow up in a home where the mother and father show respect to each other. And children learn uh, through the eyes. And children mimic adult behavior. Our Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said words to the effect that I've come to perfect morals. There was no finer exemplar of social etiquette than our Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So when the child sees the father and mother being respectful, when they see the way they treat the servants, the community and everyone else, then the child will automatically become like that. And that's very important, especially in the formative years, when children are young and malleable. So I think it's important that the home is a place for it and we do it just by modeling that kind of behavior. This is Idris Kamisa saying, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillahi